Now here tonight on the night team, new details from Israeli forces on their deadly military attack, killing the Hamas leader regarded as the mastermind behind the October 7th terrorist attack in Israel. This afternoon, President Joe Biden says he congratulated Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and told him it's time for the war to end and to bring these hostages home. Here's ABC's Melissa Adan with the latest developments. The leader of Hamas, Yahya Sinwar, killed by Israeli forces during a routine patrol in southern Gaza. Sinwar considered a hardliner and behind the October 7th terror attack. While this is not the end of the war in Gaza, it's the beginning of the end. To the people of Gaza, I have a simple message. This war can end tomorrow. It can end if Hamas lays down its arms and returns our hostages. Israeli authorities say he had been hiding behind the civilian population in Gaza, above ground and deep below in Hamas-run tunnels. Satellite images showing the building where Sinwar was killed, armored vehicles nearby. President Biden in Germany with European leaders over Russia's invasion of Ukraine, telling reporters he congratulated Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and says the two will work out the day after plan. Now's the time to move on. We want to move for the ceasefire in Gaza. It's time for the war to end and bring these hostages home. ABC's Tom Sufi Burridge is in Tel Aviv, where crowds gathered outside IDF headquarters. They're chanting enough. The hope amongst these families and friends of the hostages is that the death of Yahya Sinwar could open the door for the end of the war in Gaza and a deal to get their loved ones home. But family members of the remaining hostages, including Americans, more concerned than ever. I'm not shedding one single tear for the life of him, but now there's no central leadership. So the hostages are now left to the uh, mercy of the local captor, which is much more dangerous for them. Hezbollah, meantime, announcing a new escalated phase in conflict with Israel after Sinwar's death. Melissa Adan, ABC News, Los Angeles.